everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have searched the workshop today in search of the freshest and coolest creations. And you know what? I think you guys are going to like these. Let's get into it. All right, for our first creation, we have the UH60 Blackhawk by Wesley2011. And do you know what? I am very impressed with the scale of this thing. This thing looks amazing. Like you can fit a character inside here. It's great. There's so much space. So let's get this thing flying. I should, you know what? I should probably turn on my, uh, my show controls here. <laughs> All right, let's go. So how do I get going? Shift. There we go. Okay, seems to be very stable. I don't know if there's any gyros in this, but uh, right now this is awesome. This is great. So I can tilt helicopter. Oh, and look at that. The the tail is on an angle. Look, the prop on the tail, it's on a little angle. That's that's so cool. It's not the fastest, but you know, it is a big creation. Let's see if we can fly all the way to the helipad. I think if you hold shift, I, I'm getting like a boost in altitude. I think there's a little gimbal going on. That's cool. Oh, we need to hit that bridge. You know what? Let's see what it looks like in first person. Oh, would you look at that? We got a whole cockpit right here and an altitude sensor. That is so cool. I always wanted to notice how high is that helicopter pad? You can only go so fast in this creation. All right, here we are. We're coming in for a landing. I should be able to do a perfect landing here. It looks like if I let go of shift, I start dropping in altitude. Easy, easy. Oh, you know what, guys? That was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let's check our altitude here. Just because I just want to know. 432. So, yeah, we're pretty high up. Well, Wesley, this Black Hawk is pretty sick, dude. I really, really like it. Let's see what we have next here. All right, for this one, we have the Iron Scavenger, and it's supposed to be the Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. So there's clearly a lot of controls here. Let's just bring it out and press things and see what happens, right? <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Look at that animation going. Hey, hang on. Let me, let me do that again. Respawn. There we go. So it... Oh, wow. That is so epic. So it just folds out and then like already immediately gets ready to land. All right. So if I press space, it starts the flapping animation and we can... Whoa, this is so sick. I have full controls over this too. I think shift is the talons. Yep. There we go. This is unbelievable. Okay. I have E and H. Oh, E drops bombs. Yep. That is sick. I also have a rocket. Oh, would you look at that? He's actually holding a weapon. Like he's holding the rocket launcher. That is too cool, man. All right, what does H do? What? No way. I get like a jet boost. <laughs> Guys, this is probably one of the coolest creations I've seen yet. There's so much like detail and animation work into this masterpiece here. All right, green nade. This, this is impressive, dude. I am very impressed with this. Can we land? Hopefully we can land, right? Easy, easy, easy. Oh, and there we go. The wings fold in. How freaking cool is that, dude? Wow. Okay, yeah. I'm already impressed, and we're only the second build in. All right, for our next build, we have the Gundam Barbatos by Jess2005. So this is mostly a static build, so it's more for looks than function. It can actually swing its sword, though, so let's uh, let's have a look at this. I just want to see how detailed we, ha we have this build here. All right, here we go. Oh, it's max complexity. Whoa. Whoa, dude is ready for action. <laughs> That's so cool. It can only swing his sword, but you know, like, let me just do the spawn in animation again. Like a ninja right there. Wow. This game is like clearly really fun to make mechs with, you know? I wish Trailmakers would add more features for mechs specifically. But yeah, look at this. Wow. Epic, dude. Is it anchored down to the ground? I'm assuming it's anchored down. Oh, I just... Oh, sorry. I broke it. <laughs> yeah, it's anchored down to the ground. That is very, very sweet my guy look at that broke his face but oh oops let me there we go what a ninja a gundam right here proper gundam that is so sick <laughs> okay let's see what we have next here we have the feta morgana by metal burger metal burger is very known in the community for his awesome builds and uh yeah we've got some law here oh i don't have the trophy damn yeah well i haven't won any trophies on trail makers yet let's get in you know what I'm pretty sure this thing can float, right? Let's spawn over here. Okay, we're going. This is pretty cool. Wait, does this have an interior? 
Before we get flying, guys, I want to see if this has an interior. Yeah, we have an interior in here. That's... <laughs> oh, dude, that is so cool. Epic. All right, nice. Attention to detail right there. Okay, there we go. Space is to shoot. I don't know what Cuban and E are doing right now, but let's go into flight mode. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, there we go. We're ascending. Whoa. Whoa, we're flying. Yep, so it is what it is. It's a flying pirate ship. Oh, and you can aim the cannons down for a bombing mode. Ah, okay. This is this is sweet, man. This is cool. A flying pirate ship. I've always wanted to make one of these. What happens if I just toggle off the flight mode? Yeah. <laughs> that was quite obvious. We just fall back into the sea. That's quite literally a flying pirate ship. So cool, man. I really like it. Good job, Metal Burger. Okay, what do we have next here? We have the NC 1.1 Slipstream by Nolcio. Oh, WEC inspired hypercar. Okay, let's see it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, there was a lot of, lot of things falling off there. I think it has a bit of speed glitching. But look at this thing. It is sweet. Very detailed. I like the decal usage. What? This thing is quick. Here, you know what? Let's actually go onto the mainland. Yeah, so the, it has all the driving controls and then it has L for lights. As you can see a little bit there. You're pretty simple in terms of function, but form is super impressive. This thing looks amazing. Oh, and I'm drifting a little bit there. That was cool. Try not to crash into some trees, though. Can I, like... I want to drift around a corner so bad. Can I do that? Can I drift here? Oh, yeah, on the... Oh! <laughs> on the sand, yeah, clearly. I reckon I can get this thing to drift. Yeah, there we go. It's drift time, baby! Oh, the brakes are very quick and responsive, so it's actually hard to drift. Well, that is a pretty cool build by Nolcio. Very nice. I need to start building hypercars like this. This is so impressive. For our final one, this is the one I've been looking forward to the most. This is the Lockhead Martin F-22 Raptor with zero drag by Skyclad. I'm pretty sure I checked out one of Skyclad's builds before with patch bits. He did like a hover tank, but here he has made the F-22 Raptor and it's he says it's his best jet so far. Yeah. Okay, it looks pretty standard controls. Okay, there we go. There's the zero drag. So all of those... Wow. This looks really good actually does it have like thrust vectoring and everything i do not know yeah it does look at that it has thrust vectoring cool okay that's the shoot we have rockets too i think z is some flaps yeah there we go that's cool and one is oh one toggles on the afterburner i think okay cool all right let's go to the aircraft carrier because i don't want to crash into a mountain all right skyclad let's see how this thing flies let's go I'm gonna toggle one, two to keep that extra afterburner going. We have full speed now. Oh, oh, whoa, okay, all right. That was, that was a skill issue. That wasn't the plane, that was me. <laughs> yeah, this is so sweet. It flies exactly how I expect it to fly. You know, it's it's just a really good jet. What the, so I wanna try this like trim he has with the flaps. Oh, so that just provides some extra lift. And I think that increases my turn radius. So that's pretty handy in a dogfight scenario. Just try and get the jump on somebody. I want to fly under some bridges, can we? Fly under a bridge. I might be going a little too fast. Pull up! Pull up. <laughs> no! Rip. I know I keep saying this, but I really love the, the use of decals on builds. Like, decals make everything look so much better. Like, how he's done, like, the cockpit. So cool. <laughs> Good job, Skyclad. This is epic. All right, can I go in for a landing? Oh, you know what? Before we go in for a landing, I want to pull off a cool stunt really quick. I want to fly through the aircraft carrier. Let's see if I can fly through this section under the aircraft carrier. I need to slow down a little bit. Okay, no, all right. The one thing this aircraft doesn't have is like your controls, which is fine. Can I? Can, uh, no, no. <laughs> Yikes. All right. Okay. Skill issues. Overall, these builds are super impressive. I'm super impressed by the F-22 as well. Like, you know, because I like jets. I like aircrafts. It's just really cool to see what you guys come up with and, and build on the workshop. There's so much talent and so much creativeness. There's so much that's you guys are blowing my mind right now. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.